I've been looking to donate blood for a while and I um, saw that there was a brief pause in blood donations but heard that there was a, a big need. Um, and so I, I was, you know, had my eyes peeled and was really happy to see that um, UMB was organizing this drive, especially in this, you know, difficult but like really important time. The University of Maryland Medical System, the University of Maryland Baltimore came together and realized that you know what, care needs to be continued. We had 82 slots for each day. We're here for three days. All of those slots are completely filled and we have a wait list of actually 32 people already. So there's not even one slot that's available and that demonstrates the, the community coming together in Baltimore and Maryland to make sure that the blood supply is maintained. And we knew that we needed to keep our blood drives going and we figured out a safe way to do that for our donors so that we can actually ensure the blood supply to, to Maryland. Every individual that is actually walking in today is um, receiving a, a temperature scan. As well as um, did a hand sanitizing station. So that we know that everybody that's walking in here has a normal temperature for today at this moment. You get this nice little mask. The community's just been wonderful. Um, both our campus community, the medical center, and then all of the other, our neighbors in the community have come down. And we were just, um, felt very good about the response that we've had so far. It feels really good, yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm helping my hospital, I'm helping the other hospitals in Maryland. There are certain things that like call us to step up, and this is one of them. Just really grateful for everyone who's doing this work and uh, taking on risk, but um, doing so in order to help others. This is not just one and done. We will continue to make sure that blood donation happens, and we will continue this for the University of Maryland Baltimore and the system.